Okay, our beloved. So here is our basic question to you all. How are you all experiencing the new energy of the six? Are you feeling more contrast? Are you feeling or experiencing more struggles? Or are you seeing a shift in some people with whom you are in relationship with? It is not a singular experience, meaning that with some people you may experience more conflict as they are now in the karmic backlash time frame. And you may also experience more positive relationship experiences with others who are finally beginning to come home. And as you watch this play out, watch and appreciate how others are managing these new energies. It is your and your unique experience to see your life from your vantage point. And you are the only person who will ever see it or experience it this way. However, your viewpoint or perspective is as valid as anyone and everyone else's. You are merely one point of light in humanity's existence and you are here if you so choose to shine and to shine brightly meaning that your ascensionary expression from a spiritual perspective or simply how the universe reacts to you from a more 3d perspective how all of this plays out is merely an expression of your unique energetic imprint. As you shift and change who you are and how you present yourself, those in your lives will match your vibration when they can, meaning those who are wanting to grow into this new way of being loving, generous individuals, well, their reaction or response to you when you are having moments of crises will be generous and loving. And those who are very self-oriented from a selfish versus from a self-loving perspective will not be so generous. So that is what we ask for you to just observe. How do people react to you when your presentation within life is not exactly as they would like? Now, our another has once again expressed that we speak in code which makes it difficult for humanity to understand some of our messages. And while we don't disagree with her overall assessment, there is a purpose. And the purpose is for you all to be more entrained by the messages that we offer, meaning the words and the vibration behind them, than the actual logical meaning that you derive from listening to them. Because much like when you go to an art museum and you simply look at the pieces of art, the expressions of artistic impressions, well, do you need to read the description in order to understand the artistic impression or do you just simply behold the visual the experiential interpretation of what it means to you. And so 
we shall not change course. We shall not make our words more uh, interesting to understand or more elevated in humanic expression, meaning that others will really be wowed by what it is that we have to say. Our another is on a mission to offer as many of you an opportunity to become enlightened. She has a desire to save everyone. That is her nature. However, that is not our desire. Our desire is to create a beautiful artistic impression in a field of many other artistic impressions. And you all must be drawn to what it is that we have to offer instead of us luring you in through codependency, right? We are not codependent. We are not needy for your validation. We are offering what we have on our terms through our another, which differs vastly and drastically from what other mediums offer. And it is okay that it not resonate with you because we are seeking and calling those who are like-minded within this very specific vibration. Similar to music impressions, you have particular artists and styles and genres and um, identificators that help you to feel moved by that musical inspiration. And not each of you is inspired by the same musician, nor are you inspired by the same musician for the same reason. So this is our particular band's style of interpretation of what the universe wishes to express here on Mother Gaia. And it either resonates or it doesn't. And we as musicians do not wish to change the beating of our drums or the pace of our beat, our caustic relevancy. We do not wish to change any of that in order to draw more of you to us. It is our true north that we are holding to, to encourage you all to find your true north as well. So may you find within today's message and messages what it is that resonates with you. And if it doesn't, then perfect, because it is not a good vibrational match at this time, in this moment, for this purpose. And it is okay if you are not relevant in our story, nor that we are not relevant in your story. It is perfectly okay that we pass like two ships in the night saying, hello, and goodbye without any further exchange or interaction. Does that make sense? You all are here to figure out who you are and what resonates and what doesn't and why most importantly, and to find your truest sense of self within yourself as our another is within herself. She shares her stories because she is a storyteller. This is how she connects with others. She doesn't like to just give the knowledge. She likes to give an application because that is how she learns. Otherwise, it is just merely a gong or a bang out there in the universe somehow. She prefers the application of what it means in a heartfelt moment to understand these messages. And for those of you who have a similar learning style, you will adapt and adopt to our messages. And for those of you who have different learning styles and methods, it won't really resonate. And you will seek other teachers when and if you are ready to move through this ascensionary process, which really, truly is just coming back to home. Her message this morning on attachment styles is so spot on you cannot even understand or imagine its relevance. This is where you all grow back into your original imprint by finding who you are prior to those coping mechanisms. Your life's purposes and contracts fit into this, and some of this you cannot avoid and ignore. But at the end of the day, the call to each of you is to come back home through one tunnel or another. 
And once you join us down this rabbit hole, you will find that there is no returning because you will realize that there is so much more truth in this than in the fabricated reality that you have been living and expressing in your normal 3D experience, which is okay as well. Each is its own expression of art. We simply invite those of you who want a deeper understanding of the esoteric who resonate with our teaching style to come in. And that is it. That is what we shall be offering humanity in this year of the six, two, zero, two, two. And what does that mean? The two is you, the zero is the space between you, and the two, two are the others out there that are important in your lives as well. You will understand how this plays out in the future, but coming back to self, loving self, you are in partnership with yourself first and foremost, coming home. That is the goal and the purpose of this unique experience of the six, to come back to home and establish the most loving relationship with self that is possible for you in order for you to offer that to the rest of those people out in the community with whom you resonate and with whom you wish to share a shared experience. And so it is. Namaste.